Hello, good afternoon everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. This is writer coach Tony and it's a rainy day today. It's July 31, 2023 and um, I'm going to make a series of videos, vlogs. Um, the first one I'm doing is on the on the movie Barbie. You know, I saw Barbie when it came out. But it took me a long time to make the review because, uh, I don't know, I just became lazy. So anyway, here's my take on the movie Barbie. Um, it's directed by Greta Gerwig and stars Margot uh, Robbie and um, Ryan Gosling as Ken. So there was so much um, anticipation for the movie, um, although it already is a brand name. No, because uh, Barbie is a popular doll brand, there was it was no surprise that it was a big hit, no, uh, not only in the Philippines but worldwide. Um, mainly because uh, Gerwig was able to create uh, the perfect universe uh, for Barbie, no. Um, technically, the movie is flawless, no. Uh, production design, the costumes, the makeup and hair styling, everything is built perfectly around the brand of Barbie you know, by Mattel. So I'm sure the the manufacturers are very happy with the turnout and with the acceptance of the public of the movie. Um, so basically, it's a, I won't say it's a comedy, but there are parts which are funny. But it's also a social commentary, you know. Because um, Barbie is a, it's a kind of a made-up, she lives in a made-up world where, where women look a certain way. So that would be politically correct. Uh, incorrect, actually, because um, nowadays... <clears throat> There's a concept of inclusivity, and um, during Barbie's time, obviously there was no inclusivity because uh, beauty was usually defined by being blonde, by being tall, by being ditzy. Um, that's what sexy was. But uh, in modern times, um, when you see that a woman is, is desirable, it encompasses already many um, different uh, parameters. No, one doesn't have to be thin or or anorexic. Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and that's what makes uh, Margot Robbie's, Robbie's character a bit obsolete. No, so when she goes to the real world, she realizes um, nobody really likes her because. Uh, <clears throat> mainly because of the the um, the expectations no the unreasonable expectations that are given to women to look a certain way to look like a Barbie to appeal to men but uh, the reality is uh, women can have different looks and can be beautiful in different looks I guess that's the biggest takeaway from the movie um, as the story unfolds, uh, Barbie realizes that um, if she wants to be relevant in today's world, she has to um, adjust no, to what the modern world is saying to modern women. Um, but she goes back to Barbie land and that's where the story gets kind of muddled. That's where the part I didn't understand. Because um, Ken, who represents the male patriarchy, kind of asserts himself and takes over the matriarchal uh, society Barbie has created where women play a central role. So for a small part of the movie, it's the men who kind of rule Barbie land and it becomes kind of Ken land. So it became the domain of men. But eventually, as the story moves on, um, a balance is, is 
is created so that uh, both um, Barbie and Ken, although they are not in love with each other, although they look like a pair, but they're actually uh, as incompatible as they can be, they just look compatible with their looks, but otherwise their values are not the same. No? So in a twist in the end, which I do not really understand much, um, Barbie decides on uh, uh, fulfilling her female duties, which I think will turn off some women because it forces them to you know, follow the template of what women are expected to be in today's society. So anyway, that's my only comment towards the end. But I could be wrong, no? because this is actually a movie which also acts as a satire. No? Uh, there's a subtle satire in the movie which pokes fun um, on societal expectations of men and women. So as a whole, the movie is very entertaining. Uh, Margot Robin nails the role. I won't be surprised if she gets a surprise Oscar nomination uh, because uh, she really embodies the role. She really embraces it. No? She disappears into Barbie and she becomes Barbie. So does Ken. No? Actually, Ryan Gosling is the scene stealer in this movie. Um, he's kind of a hunk, uh, gay, um, tease, no? He's all of that, and uh, he comes off really funny, and uh, yeah, um, I hope he also gets um, some acting nominations for this role. Although this is a comedy, and um, you know how many acting bodies do not really respect uh, comedy roles, but I hope with this one, they do. And I hope Greta gets her shot at, uh, you know, another directing nomination. Um, because she really is the reason why this movie works. Without her, um, yeah, there will be no vision. Because her vision is very clear. Her message is very clear. So it's executed very well. And she comes up with a world which is uh, um, a mixture of what Mattel wants and what her vision is. And it comes out very, very well. You know, everything, um, all the technical categories are perfect, um, including the script, which although the script is a bit muddled, um, it, there is a point to it, which is the important thing. No? Um, so if, uh, if you want to, um, the movie is, uh, the movie is actually, um, could appeal to a lot of people, but uh, the younger set, you know, my ne nephew and niece, uh, they didn't really warm up to it because uh, of the adult themes it presented. Although it should have been more of a children's movie, you know, because uh, it's a doll actually. But anyway, um, I hope. Uh, well, you could watch a movie if you want. Um, and contribute to the billions it's already earning um it's an important movie for 2023 <clears throat> and it defines um our, our culture no and what's good about it is that people are going back to the cinema to to watch movies so with that i hope you um enjoyed my movie review um please uh subscribe to my channel writer coach tony there are more um movie reviews to come there's another movie i'm reviewing after this and uh, please follow me my facebook my twitter and my instagram see you all take care